Bereshith, Genesis 4. And Adam knew at Chuan his woman, and she conceived and bore Eth Cain and said, I have gotten a man from Eth Yahuwah. And she again bore Eth his brother, Eth Havel, and Havel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Yahuwah. And Havel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And Yahuwah had respect unto Havel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And Yahuwah said unto Cain, Why are you wroth, and why is your countenance fallen? If you do well, shall you not be accepted? And if you do not well, sin lies at the door. And unto you shall be his desire, and you shall rule over him. And Cain talked with Havel, his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Havel, his brother, and slew him. And Yahuwah said unto Cain, Where is Havel, your brother? And he said, I know not. Am I to guard my brother? And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. And now are you cursed from the earth, which has opened eth her mouth, to receive eth your brother's blood from your hand. When you till eth the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto you her strength, a fugitive and a vagabond shall you be in the earth. And Cain said unto El Yahuwah, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from your face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that finds me shall slay me. And Yahuwah said unto him, Therefore, whoever slays Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And Yahuwah set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of Yahuwah and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew Eth his woman, and she conceived and bore Eth Chanak. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Chanak. And unto Chanak was born Eth Irad, and Irad begat Eth Mekayael, and Mekayael begat Eth Methesuael, and Methesuael begat Eth Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two women. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other, Tzla. And Adah bore Eth Yaval. 
He was the father of such as dwell in tents and of such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Yuval. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. And Sela, she also bore Eth Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Naama. And Lamech said unto his woman, unto his women, Ada and Tisla. Hear my voice, ye women of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And Adam knew Eth, his woman, again. And she bore a son and called Eth, his name, Sheth. For Elohim, said she, has appointed me another seed instead of Hevel, whom Cain slew. And to Sheth, to him also there was born a son, and he called Eth his name, Enosh. Then began men to call upon the name of Yahuwah.